Hey everybody, we're on this 342 here, and I'm going to show you how to get the new Warframe Anaros, the mummy. Uh, the first thing you got to do is uh, head over to a relay station. At this point in time, the patch is still fresh, the big update. So, at my time right now, whether you're watching it right now or a few months or a few years later, um, the place I'm going to is the relay station in, I believe, Saturn? Yes, Saturn. Here we go. You gotta go to the second one because it's calm. And this is 18.5, I believe. I am hoping I'm right when I said that because I might, you know, I'm not gonna re-film this. I already did refilmed it twice, so I don't wanna do it again. So uh, let's uh, just get everything going. You're gonna go to the relay station and you have to speak to the void trader, Baro Katir. He has the blueprint you seek to begin your journey to obtaining the Naros, which is the mummy Warframe. You get them through a quest, and that is what we are going to purchase right now from Baro Katir. Now the bow you see in the back, I will make a separate video on that. The cape is a part of the exp uh, exp part of the uh, new update. Well, the patch, I assume. It's, not, it's a big update, but it's not like a full digit update. Alright, there's Baroque Tier. You're going to have to buy it for 200 ducats plus 5,000 credits. This is where you purchase it. Now, if you're wondering, run this. How the heck do I get ducats? Well, good sir or madam, you go here, the trade, trader, the, oh, no, ignore that. You go to this part right here. Hold on, hold on. You're entering like this, and then you're going to take a left. And it's right here. And here you just get whatever void item you don't want. And uh, they each of them have a little icon on top saying how much they're worth. You click it, and you sell it, and bam, you get your ducats. I already have uh, enough. I have 520 right now, and I already purchased the blueprint. So once you do all that, you have to go craft it. So let's head on back to our ship, or hub. And, we're, and I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do. Click Escape. This is as basic as it gets, people. And go to equipment, and then go to foundry. And here you will find, you need to browse through and find your blueprint. Mine's already done, but yours isn't. <laughs> um, it's uh, where are you? Right there. Sands of Anaro. You have to craft it, and to craft it, you do need a nitane extract as well as a few oxium, I believe 400 oxium, 119 extract, of, uh, a, quite a few nanospores, which isn't that hard to obtain, and uh, you should, and I believe that's everything. There might be one more, but yeah, this is how you purchase it and everything. And once you obtain it, because I'm going to tell you right now, it takes five hours to craft that blueprint, so unless you rush it to, uh, you know, support the developers like the Deathstream said, that was hilarious by the way, Link to that in the bottom. <laughs> um, once you have it crafted, I'm going to assume, because this is as far as I got in my previous outtakes, we're going to go to uh, this little part here called Codex. And we're going to go to Quest, which is already here. Good. And it's right here. Stand of Anaros. Now let's listen to what actually happens here. for you. It seems there may be a tomb hidden on that forsaken rock you call Phobos. Tombs mean treasure, and yet sadly, my usual relic hunters are superstitious idiots who refuse to disturb this so-called sacred place. You, Tenno, however, are more pragmatic, especially when it comes to ducats, am I right? Oh my, you can feel the filth and grit in every breath. This desolate rock is the former colony of the backward-thinking sky worshippers. Their stories are worth as much as the sand around you. Nothing. The Grenier took pity on their miserable existence years ago, returning this so-called civilization to the sand. 
Yet for some elusive reason, their relics have become quite fashionable and thus valuable. Rare antiquities. That's why we're here. Glyphs. Nothing but nonsense about their so-called God King. Inaros, is it? How quaint. The only thing Heaven sent from Inaros would be the prices relics fetch at auction. Hush, hush, my little doom. You don't need to be scared. There, there. That's right, shake out the sand. But remember, not all of it, and I'll tell you the story. Tenno, what is this? How are you doing that? Long ago, the lands of our colony were cursed. They were soaked in fear. The golden skymen would come and take our children away. Young and old alike cowered before them, afraid to lose their most beloved. That voice! Tenno, stop this! But then he came. The fear eater. The sky killer. He was called Inaros. A burial vessel. It will contain precious relics. There, there, you're not defiling a tomb. You're creating wealth. Return to your ship. We must examine this vessel further. I could have never foreseen this. That vessel, it contains primitive etchings that seem to be a sort of blueprint. There's a warframe entombed there. Look at it. It's exquisite. There's an inscription. Prove you are him. Destroy the ones who oppress. Destroy who? Does this smudged glyph represent some enemy? You'll have to carry that vessel into battle and prove yourself if we are to unlock these secrets. All right, after finishing the whole quest line and understanding how things work and whatnot, I have to give a special thanks to my best friends, Omega Silex, Scion Fox, and Jeron122, for their absolute help in this. Uh, we, I was able to complete it, and let me tell you how things work. Uh, what you're seeing now is exactly how well, what to do once you finish the first part of the quest, which you gain this sarcophagus key. This item, you have to equip it in your gear section for your, well, your, in general, your gear section, which is located in your arsenal. Um, you'll see right now where to go and what connect it on the video. But the most, the most important thing are the, uh, every time you finish the mission, you get this little design on your sarcophagus, a uh, little vase thing that you obtain. Uh, the image depends, because uh, they're all random. And everyone might get something different. No one should be the same, uh, but sometimes it is. As in me and my, my friend G, um, we both got the same one, fortunately. That's because we both ran together as a group. Now, if you were to run separately with someone else, you might get something different. But what you're seeing in front of you are the images of what is in front of the vase. And they vary. Um, for if yours is a, like, a face, like a grenier looking face with a triangle on the forehead, that you have to kill 60 Seekers. If yours is like a, uh, 
weird looking spirally fish. You have to kill volatile runners, which is infested. And if yours is like a, if the picture on your uh, vase actually looks like a vase or a corpus head, you have to kill Detron crew members, crewmen, 60 of them. So you need to kill out of those three, uh, either uh, 60 Detron crewmen, if yours is like a vase, 60 seekers, if yours looks like a head with a triangle in the forehead. And if yours is the last choice, it does not look like a vase or a head, and it's like this weird looking fiery thing or tentacle thing, well, you have to kill 60 volatile runners, which are they're those little orange runner guys that explode when they get close to you. That's what they are. Um, but that's once you kill 60 of them, you have to go back in there in the uh, tomb and another amazing um, voice acting, I will cut scene or whichever you want to call it. I call it a voice acting. Uh, an amazing scenario occurs. I will not spoil it. It's amazing. And then you get the next part of the vase, which requires you to kill 20 enemies of a specific type. Um, you have to kill either Railgun Moas, a Hyena Master, or a Broodmother. Fortunately for us, me and G had we were lucked we luck we were lucky again to get uh, infested. Sorry for the stuttering. I'm just trying to concentrate because I just freaking played all day. Whew. But if yours looks like a face with ears, that is the Hi Hayeka Master. I believe that is a new enemy that was added that has a uh, little cats. Instead of the Drac Master, this is the Hayaka Master, which uses the new feline enemies that were added to the game. If yours looks like a triangle, it is a Broodmother, like the one that was depicted here in the video. I'm going to keep it on a loop so you guys can see all the images. But the one I obtained was the Broodmother, which is an infested. And finally, if yours looks like, a, yet again, a vase, just like the one previous, you have to kill a Railgun Moas. And now for the final one. You have to kill five. And this is where things get a bit interesting. Um, for us, we were very fortunate that we got the Mannix. <laughs> Those of you who get the bur Bursas or the Juggernauts, I'm sorry, but best of luck. They're annoying, but you can still do it. It's not a problem. Um, if you get a... It looks like a triangle with two thick legs. Two thick legs and one in the middle with a little head. Um, that is a denial bursa. You have to kill five of them. Okay. If yours is a head with two eyes and like a little circle mouth, you have to kill Mannix, five of them. And if yours is the last one, it actually looks like the face of a Kubro, but I'm pretty sure it's not. It has like two ears and then one, a third ear beside the one that's on the right. If you stare at your screen, you have to kill five juggernauts. I will post 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 i will post a link to everything i just said below it will help instead of you listening to me um very valuable links below um it's pretty much the wiki page the images of everything and what you have to do okay but uh, a little quick tip if you happen to get the manix i highly suggest and it's what we did go to tile regor's boss fight he will spawn manix when you're fighting him and that is a great place to get your kills for manix okay guys Anyways, once you complete all that, you go back to the same tomb that you went all the other times, especially when you see in this video at the beginning, and the final events occur, and you fight a specific enemy, just like because you're going to fight enemies for enemies. In this video, I believe there were the cats. The second one, I will tell you, of course, you have to either watch the videos of other YouTubers or play it when it comes up for you, because I don't want to spoil anything. And uh, then the final fight, you fight the final enemy. Every time you defeat these enemies, you get a certain part of the new Warframe Inaro. So, in this video, I have obtained the blueprint. And if, and I, and another piece, I believe, did I not? And I believe the head. I need to review. But every time you get a kill, and you beat the part of the, the uh, mission, and you get these uh, vases, as you progress, let's put it that way. As you progress, you will get your Warframe part. The only problem out of all the parts is the head requires two nitane extracts. So if you don't have nitane extracts, you're going to have to either do a mission that they are spotting in caches, or you're going to have to wait for an alert. Up to you. But that's all I got to say. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope this helped. Sorry for the stuttering. No, I'm not retarded. <laughs> um, but... I hope you guys enjoyed, and when the game comes out, do enjoy it. Lots of amazing features, a new uh, UI, well, an enhanced UI. You have a, a movable chat, a new color chat, 
You have spaceships uh, from your party that park in front of you if you're forming a party. It's awesome. New enemies, new guns, new accessories. The game's awesome right now. If you guys haven't hopped in, hop in now. If you're a console player, if any, you want to see how the story all progresses, there's a link below, like I mentioned earlier in the video, of me playing through the whole mission without me speaking because I don't want that to hinder anything. So by all means, check out the description below. I always say that even at the end of the video when my credits pop, it says read it below. So I hope you guys do read it below. Reading is important, guys. Anyways, I'm Rennis342. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Thank you.